ensure their safety, trainers first went through a 17 times impact test. Astronauts were trained for every eventuality. On survival courses, they learned how to fend for themselves in hostile conditions. Astronauts have a gun and a knife in the re-entry module. They need them. Survivability was paramount. Russia and the United States had lost 14 astronauts in their race to space. China learned from their mistakes. A special escape rocket provided an extra margin of safety. It goes off with a bang, shooting the astronaut's capsule far from harm's way. that will carry China's first astronaut into space has been years in development. Called the Long March 2F, it is the cutting edge of China's rocket program. It's a brute of a rocket, capable of lifting the eight-ton manned spacecraft into orbit speed of more than eight kilometers per second. Yet, it is also a precision instrument. Its 50,000 mechanical parts must function perfectly as there can be no second chance. Astronauts had a Beijing home visit before the launch. The field of astronaut candidates has been narrowed to the final three. All are top flight Air Force pilots, but only one will have the honor of being the first Chinese astronaut. Photogenic Zhai Zhegang was not only top gun of his unit, he was also a poster boy for the Air Force. His picture was used on the cover of the Air Force magazine. <laughs> Young Li Wei's mother says that he dreamed of being a pilot since he was a child. When he was a little boy, he also said that one day he would marry a woman who can drive a train. Today, he is one of China's elite pilots, and his wife is a school teacher. Astronaut Ni Haizhang was so important to his unit that his commanding officer tried to get him to turn down astronaut training. Ni's wife was also opposed to his becoming an astronaut. She even threatened to divorce him. Ni won them both over and is today one of the last three candidates to be China's first man in space. <laughs> The selection of which candidate will go into space will be made just one day before the launch. The physical and medical condition of the candidates is monitored until the last minute. In the end, only a few points separate the candidates. Centrifuge training is central to the astronaut's preparation for space. The spinning machine creates a g-force up to 15 times Earth's gravity. During the launch, an astronaut undergoes 4 Gs. That's about the same as the maximum reached on a roller coaster. But on a roller coaster, it's only a few microseconds. Reaching orbit takes 10 minutes. The astronaut may be exposed to even greater G-forces. An uncontrolled descent can reach 11 Gs. And in an emergency abort, it may reach 17 Gs. Astronauts are trained in a mock-up spacecraft before they ever set foot in the real thing. It has two chambers, a large orbital module, and below it, a smaller command capsule 
in which the astronaut sits during the launch and the re-entry. The command module, which can hold up to three astronauts, is just six cubic meters. The orbital module is, by comparison, a relatively spacious eight cubic meters. Together, they are like a two-room house. The astronaut sits in the command module during takeoff and landing. On long missions, experiments would take place in the orbital module. But on China's first manned mission into space, the orbital module will not be used. The astronaut will spend the entire journey in the command module. Soon, the practice module will be replaced by the real thing. Although there has been speculation in the press, there is no public announcement before the candidates make one last trip. On October 12th, the finalists fly to Gansu in northwest China for their date with destiny. The Jiu Quan Satellite Launch Center has been putting satellites in space for 20 years. But this will be their first attempt to put a man in space. The astronauts still don't know who it will be. China is in the midst of the SARS epidemic. The astronauts take special precautions to protect their health. assembly building, the manned spacecraft is joined to the main rocket. It's housed in a protective sheath called a fairing that will protect it on its way into space. During the launch, the astronaut travels blind, his spacecraft completely enclosed inside the fairing. The fairing will be blown off only when the vessel is safely in outer space. Then the manned module emerges like a butterfly from a cocoon to orbit the Earth. The last piece to be assembled is an escape rocket. It is attached to the top of the manned spacecraft stage. It's for emergency use only. In tests, it showed that if something goes wrong during the launch, it can lift the manned module to safety, rising 1.5 kilometers in just three seconds. It's like yanking a man up by pulling on his hair. <laughs> 